Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. I have a confession to make. I do not like my planner these days, specifically the calendar, which is about 90% of my daily planner. I have not been using the planner for a couple of weeks now, and I don't know why. Really, I don't know why. This planner in this current configuration is the result of so many different tweaks and adjustments that I made since July 2021, which was when I started using the disc down system and this paper size, which is the A5 Slim. I do have a playlist on my channel about my creation of this disc bound A5 Slim planner, which was also my One Book July challenge for that year. I will link that playlist down below. And ever since July 2021, like I said, I have made many tweaks and adjustments to this as my needs have changed over time. Usually when I am not satisfied with something because I felt like either something was missing or something was no longer necessary so it had to be taken out, that's when I would make the tweak and it would work for a few weeks or a few months and I would be using it efficiently every single day and I would like it. This specific one that you can see right here, I have refreshed just last June and I even changed the covers twice and I liked it then. I have videos about the process and I will link them down below. But now I do not like using this anymore and I don't know why. It is working very well actually, it's exactly what I need and I know that if I only use it, I would have no complaints about the functionality. As for how it looks aesthetically, I have no complaints either. The grid is very pleasant. It is sized exactly for my handwriting when I'm writing in planners. The boxes are designed exactly for all of the aspects of my life that I need to plan for and track at the moment. And I like the icons. I like everything. I like the colors. I think it looks pretty good. So there is nothing wrong here, but I do not like using it anymore. And I don't know what to change because like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. At first, I thought it was because of all of the flipping. I do use 2.6 pages per day in here, as you can see, which I have explained in a few videos, which I will link in the description box. But I am not even sure it's the flipping. It could be the flipping, but maybe not the flipping only. I used to like all of the flipping, <laughs> which is why I lasted so long on day on 2.6 pages. But I wonder why it's changing now. I, I don't really know the answer to that, but for now, at least I have one possible thing that I do not like, which is all of the flipping. So I'm going to solve the problem one by one. To eliminate the flipping, I have decided to merge all of my 2.6 pages into a single page right here. See, I didn't change anything except combine all of the original pages together side by side into one big page. Everything is still here and even the order of the main regions are still basically the same. This is page one on the old planner and here it is in the new layout. Here is page three, which is now here. Page two is this one and I placed it here. And here is page four, which is here. And the slots for the side reminder tabs are also still here, just like in the old planner. I didn't remove anything or add anything. It is the same, but on one big page. As for the page size, the height is the same. It is the height of the A5, which is 210 millimeters. As for the width, I am coming from 95 millimeters, which is the width of the personal. But this single page version is 268 millimeters wide. And I also still have space on the left side to hole punch for the disc bound in case I'm ready to do that. So basically the paper size is an A5 super duper wide. <laughs> is that what I should call this page size or should I call it A4 short? Because it is actually A4 already. It is already A4 width here if it is in this orientation, but shorter than A4. So 
I don't know what to call this page size. And by the way, I used my current favorite paper this time, the Bavania Splendor Gel 160 GSM White. So for now, I have printed only seven days worth first, covering August 7 through 13, because my daily pages are already made until August 6, which I showed in a previous video, which I will link down below. And I will keep these new pages just loose on top of my desk for now. I'm not even leaving the house at all these days anyway, so I don't have to keep them in a binding system for now. And by the way, just in case you can hear roosters crowing, those are the roosters of my dad that are in our backyard. <laughs> roosters are pretty much a part of Filipino family life and community life, so in a lot of Filipino households, there are roosters. And there is nothing on the back of these pages because like I said, I don't like flipping across a single day. And I probably don't like flipping across pages or, or across days when I plan for the week either. But maybe I won't mind the shuffling of loose pages. Maybe. Let's see. The dates at the top of the region for the 24-hour time tracking is still in a rainbow colorway like the original, but it no longer has the rainbow colored margins because this region has no space for that anymore. And that's all right. As for the weekly tippins, I will just use my existing ones right here. And there is also this sticker for August 7 that I made a couple of weeks ago, but the page for August 7 was not made at that time so i saved the sticker here using washi tape but the washi tape is not a very good quality so it ruined the sticker i will just make a new sticker this sticker is still part of my sticker set for the clarion west write-a-thon i have a video about the process and i will link it down below so as I was saying, for this weekly task sheet, I will tip it in in the same way that I always do. I score the line, crease, place glue dots uh, or dots of white glue, and then append to the right edge of the Sunday page. So I can still fold it out and fold it in as needed, just like what's in my existing planner. One thing I have observed this early already is this one page or actually one sheet per day does save me time and energy when it comes to the cutting. I only have to cut off three sides for each single day as opposed to cutting eight sides for every single day because I'm, I was on the 2.6 pages per day. As you can see in this clip of me cutting each page down to the final size. And I do have to print on slightly larger paper. That's why I cannot print on exactly A4. So I only need to cut off one side, but I can't do that because my printer cannot print borderless. I have demonstrated that in a previous video, which I will link down below. So I don't really know how this is going to work out. I have no idea, but I'm willing to try. I have the advantage of being able to create my own planner layouts myself and print my own planner pages. I know how to do those. I have the equipment and the software and I have the skill. So I'm going to put those to good use like I always have since I started making my own planner pages in 2013. I am going to let you know how this w is going for me. I will certainly keep you posted for sure. Wish me luck. How about you? Have you ever gone through some planner disillusionment before or some planner dissatisfaction and you cannot really explain why? How did you deal with it? Let me know in the comments and let's talk. Thanks for watching. Bye.